ourselves a big round of applause, yeah? This is the most episodes we have ever gotten through in a season of Wheel of 2K. Last season, we finished at 36 episodes. And this season, we're taking that all the way to 48, if not a grand finale for episode 49. Not sure what I want to do yet, but all I know is this is the final season, season four. Also, gentlemen, I completely forgot to make a notice of this, but I ordered my temporary tattoo for the six episodes and it totally did not come in. I've been having shipping issues lately. So I promise you that for six episodes of Wheel of 2K, I will have that temporary tattoo. It just isn't going to be the first or second episode. I'll make sure. I think episodes three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll have it on. Just thought you should know. Now, as you know, we're creeping up on August, right? And August 16th is when the new Madden comes out. So I'm ready to make my full flip, get into the football season, and start playing Madden. There might be a little bit of overlap with Wheel of 2K, but I don't anticipate a lot. That being said, I want to make this the best season yet. So let's hop right in. At this point in Wheel of 2K, you guys should all understand the rules. But I'll give you a 20-second refresher. We're going to play a 12-game season. Now, based on my record in those 12 games, I have to complete one challenge. And the cheat sheet for the Wheel of 2K final season, I have to say, is probably the best. But that's how it should be. Our cheat sheet goes as follows. Were I to end up with absolutely zero wins, I'll complete one year of full celibacy. And honestly, as long as I don't get married, I won't be having sex anyway, so 0-12 is not that bad. 1-11, I will stream a half marathon. I'll go live on Twitch from my phone and run a half marathon. 2-10, I will complete the 24-hour stream. I don't anticipate that either. 3-9, a permanent tattoo chosen by the boys. I do want to fill out the sleeve. Whatever it is that you guys want is probably not what I want to put there. But if I can only win three games, that's what we're running with. 4-8 is the first realistic one. I wanted it to be a bitch, but something that'd be really fun too. The beer mile. The beer mile is uh, you get on a track and four laps around a track is a mile. Every lap, you have to drink a full 12 ounce beer. At my size, I'd actually be like pretty drunk. <laughs> I'd be kind of buzzed up going around that fourth lap. The world record, I believe is four minutes and 50 seconds, which is astronomical. I couldn't do a regular mile in that time or even close, I don't think. We used to always have to run in PE. I feel like I ran like a six or seven minute mile. These guys are running a 450 with beer like four full beers it's just nuts five and seven i'm gonna have l do my makeup on stream so you guys will get to sit there and watch as i get pretty enough to where you guys would probably try and have sex with me you already try to do it as is so yeah! Six and six. I kind of wanted to do this, but I just know it would suck, so I really don't want to do it. But I thought it'd be funny. Train for and take the SAT. So when I went to high school, is the ACT still? I think it's all SAT now across the whole United States. So basically, I'd take it, see what my score is. Then I'd actually study for a week and take it again, see what my score gets to. It is a punishment we used to use in the fraternity for like our fantasy football leagues, and it's actually hilarious. To watch like a full-blown college-graduated person go in and take the fucking SAT is so funny. So that's what I'm going for. Seven and five. Okay, so as I figured out from those first three seasons, we kind of land at seven and five, eight and four, nine and three, most seasons. So I wanted those ones to all be really good. Seven and five, you can choose my fit for the next video. I don't care what it is. A sumo suit, a, a cock and balls blow up suit. I don't even know what exists. It could literally just be a thong. You get to choose my fit for the next video. Eight and four. Each loss is one hit. Okay, I just want to explain explain this one better because it needs it. I couldn't fit it all in there. I'm going to go live on Twitch for probably three, four hours. And I'm just going to play my team unlimited. And every loss that I get, I take one hit of the dab pen. So it's kind of like playing 2K high, except the higher I get, the more likely I am to lose. And every time I lose, I get higher. So it's going to work against itself. I just think it will be so funny. So that's eight and four. And I feel like that's a pretty realistic record. We've gotten right around there most times. So nine and three. This is a very strong winning season season. And the last one that's a true challenge is playing Madden 23 high. I don't know. The grammar there is weird that I put high before Madden <laughs> playing high Madden 23. Okay. Either way, when this season is ending, Madden 23 is going to be coming out. I'm going to hop on and just like I did at the end of season two of Wheel of 2K, I'll do one game just uh -huh. higher than piss. I think it'll be a great time. It'll be really funny. Yes, I have a crippling addiction to marijuana. Can you tell? Secretly, I just want to write whoa, all whoa, of my whoa, weed whoa, purchases whoa, 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 off whoa, as a hey, business. Hey, Hey, hey. Did you hear that, IRS? 
10 and 2, you know the vibes. You gotta rate my cock and or balls. 11 and 2, I'm an idiot. Who cares? Just disregard it. Who cares? Just disregard it. 11 and 1 is an optional consent smooch. I may or may not ask for consent from you. I just might do it. And 12 and 0, I am basically Zach Wilson. Doesn't matter if it's your mom or your mom's best friend. She's mine. Get used to it, bud. I know you guys have been waiting for this. As you know, I've got a power-up player to show you. I've got a team captain to show you. I've got a brand new squad, new jerseys, new team name. This season, inspired by the greatest quarterback in football, we are the new York Milf Hunters. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Zach Wilson is top 10 all time, and he ain't 10 or 9 or 8 or 7 or 6 or 5 or 4 or 3 or 2. Best quarterback to ever play for New York. And I think it's an exaggeration to say he's going to be the MVP this season. I even matched up the jerseys. I went with the Bucks jerseys because they kind of look like Jets jerseys. And then just to get weird, I have these classic Bucks unis. Although, I kind of want to switch this up for the classic Bulls unis. Yeah, the classic Bulls unis actually go really hard. So that'll be my, my alternate option. Also, I just want to say something. I tried my ass off to get endgame Dirk Nowitzki, and after spending 14 plus hours collecting cards, I wasn't even halfway. Uh, I also learned, even if I bought every card in the game, including Galaxy Opals and Dark Matters, I wouldn't have enough. I would have needed to have played through this monsoon of challenges. Just trust me, I really did try to get endgame Dirk. He's not my team captain, though. I'm sorry. Either way, yeah, we got bucks on the rest of this stuff and our team. So you're looking at the squad right now and you don't see a power up player or a team captain. I haven't put them in the lineup yet. I wanted to give you guys a chance to guess. My power up player has an end game and my team captain is a shooting guard. Those are the only hints I'll give you. And I'll start it out with my power up player. My power up player for the final season of Wheel of 2K is a small forward and he is the greatest bad basketball player of all time. It's none other than LeBron James. I thought LeBron would be so fun. I got a little taste of playing with a Dark Matter LeBron last season. That was just superhero LeBron. That was not endgame LeBron. And the other good thing that I like about LeBron is he has a lot of options for the power-ups. Like, this isn't like a cheese power-up. We really have to go through a lot of LeBron cards. So we've got Sapphire LeBron James right now. And for every 10 points that we score, we go up to the next tier. Next tier of LeBron is Ruby. So we'd have 89 LeBron after that. There is no Amethyst, which is nice. So after that, we would go to Diamond LeBron James Signature Series. After that, we go to the 96 overall Pink Diamond LeBron James. After that, the 97 overall Galaxy Opal LeBron James. And after that, we have this absolute God tier Cavaliers 20. Three, LeBron James, six foot nine, 240 pounds, 10 pounds lighter than his Cavs one. This season, I do want to make an offer to you guys. I know I play 2K really unorthodox and it frustrates you guys. So this season, I want to try my best to play the game as best I can. Not be an idiot, stay composed, not fall on threes, all that shit, right? So I thought going with an end game LeBron James would be a good way to do that. I definitely could have gone like end game Yao Ming or end game Taco Fall, but but I feel like if I did that, I would just keep playing through my centers and not learning the other aspects of this game. And either way, we keep powering up LeBron. We get endgame LeBron. He's absolutely disgusting. They you spend like 800K MT on this man's 99 everything, freak of nature, 80 Hall of Fame badges. Let's go. And that just leaves our team captain. And our team captain is the other GOAT. I love this shit, dude. I love this shit. What's more controversial, huh? What's gonna piss people off more? Two goats on the same team? Endgame LeBron James and Endgame Michael Jordan will both be at some point on this squad. Now, let me just, I'm not gonna end the goat debate, okay? Because ESPN and everybody's never gonna shut the fuck up about the goat debate. Let me just put this in the most simple basketball terms, okay? Michael Jordan raised the ceiling for NBA players and LeBron James raised the floor. Undeniable, undisputably. That's the only thing that should be discussed on this topic and I'm never talking about it ever again.
So our team captain is Endgame Jordan. He's gonna be so fucking cracked. I've actually used the Invincible Jordan before. If you guys remember, we had the Invincible Kobe and Invincible Jordan on the squad. The only problem I had with this was the fact that I've used both an Invincible MJ and a really good LeBron in the past. That was the only problem I had with it, but as far as Endgames go, there weren't that many good options. There's an Endgame Kobe. I already used him as a team captain. Endgame Taco Fall. I'm on the fence about that. I don't really care. Endgame Yao Ming. I had him last season. Endgame Shaq. I had him last season. Endgame Lamelo. I had him. I'm praying this Endgame Michael Jordan can carry us to the promised land in Wheel of 2K. And I really like our progression through the seasons. You know, our team captain at first was Galaxy Opal. Then two Invincibles. Now an Endgame. Kyrie will be our point since I can choose any Amethyst to fill in the other slots. So Kyrie. I went Serge Ibaka and DeAndre Ayton. Just thought I'd get weird with it. Darius Garland, Ray Allen, Scotty Pippen, Julius Randle, and Wang Zizi. I have no idea who this is. What a fucking awesome name. Wang Zizi, bro. Are you kidding me? Am I pronouncing it right? I couldn't care less. He's Wang Zizi. And he's about to drop absolute buckets. D Rose on the bench, Bam out of bio on the bench. And the Austronesian, American, Slovakian, Russian, Philippine. Pino, Dwayne Wade. Now that's a throwback right there. D minus inside, D minus mid range, C minus three point scoring, and F for playmaking. Oh my God, he's fucking horrible at everything. Is he actually good at anything? This is the New York MILF Hunters. We are ready to track down every single baddie over the age of 30. Real? Uh, is 31 MILF though? Is 31 MILF? At what age are you considered? a MILF. I'm asking the real questions here. I hope no one goes through my search history. It isn't about her age. Is she a mom? I disagree. If a 22-year-old girl has a kid, she's not a MILF. I just don't agree. A lot of people are saying a MILF is any woman with a mom and a cougar is 45 plus. I just don't agree. I'm gonna say, all right, I'm ending the debate. 35 plus, you're a MILF. Under 35, not necessarily. Perfect example. Rihanna is 34. Would you really call Rihanna a MILF? I wouldn't even call Beyonce a MILF. Beyonce's 40. Nicki Minaj is 39. Doja Cat, bro. Doja Cat is such a baddie. If Doja Cat had a kid tomorrow, she a MILF. This is just not good criteria. What are we talking about? Oh, shit. Will 2K. Um... Also, I am pulling a massive audible on this season opening wheel spin. And that audible is this. <laughs> this is NBA 22 Panini Prism with none other than Wade Wanningham on the front. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open every single pack and we will be able to take one player's best version and add it to our squad. Do you guys remember when I opened the world's most expensive trading card box? I did pull a diamond lamello ball. Holy shit, I'm just gonna fucking send it. Oh! Oh my fucking God, what? And I had to give it away to one of you guys. Now, the reason for that is that video was sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is like the goat of collectibles. You can buy and sell tons of collectibles like sports cards, and you can go live on there as well. Well, Whatnot is sponsoring today's video, so you probably know where this is going. The box I'm gonna open is a 1986 Fleer, which has a chance to have a Michael Jordan rookie card. I will also be opening a 2003 Topps Chrome, which has a chance to have a LeBron James rookie card. So the only thing I'm ripping today is this. This will help out our 2K squad, but if you want a chance at any of the insane cards that I'm about to pull, you gotta pull up to the stream. The stream will be at the National, the biggest sports card convention in the world, and you can tune in live from your phone on the WhatNot app. It's Saturday, July 30th, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's coming up. Download the WhatNot app, make an account, it's totally free, and then pull up to the Ripping Wax account on WhatNot. So to conclude, WhatNot, I love you. Thank you for the box. Let's absolutely rip to start out Wheel of 2K. And Saturday, July 30th, 2 p.m. Eastern, pull up to the stream for your chance to win free cards and have a good time with the boys. All right, boys, let's hop in. It's gonna be a long season opener, I'll tell you that. Now, one thing I'll tell you about this box opening, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for because I don't know NBA trading cards that well. So I know what I'm looking for to get a good 2K card, but if you guys know that I pull something really cool, if you let me know, that'd be awesome. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Dude, what not? is so clutch. Boys, hook me up. 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box. So 144 total cards. We're pretty much guaranteed to get somebody amazing. So here's what they look like. Oh yeah, I love how prisms look. They just, they look just like the NFL prisms. So sick. I wish there was a way I could show you guys every card, but I'll just make sure I show you the big ones because there are gonna be a lot of silvers in here. Curry. I got a little curry. I can pull up with dark matter curry. Oh my God. Oh my God. My guy. My goat. 
My goat! I'm Run. sleeving it. I'm sleeving this. I don't care. I'm sleeving it. Wang's easy. What are the odds, bro? I just started talking about him. All right, two good pulls in that pack were a blue CJ McCollum, 148 of 199. Prism Zach Levine. Gay pride Zach Levine. It's kind of sick. Ooh, look at this. 29 of 125, Carl Anthony Towns. Xavier Tillman, Michigan State University. The Grizzlies really loaded up on MSU, guys. They got Jaron Jackson, too. Mindset, Luka Doncic. I don't think it's a rare card, but it's nice for 2K because you guys really want me to have a Luka Doncic card. TJ Warren, 16 of 49. 16 of 49 is dope, but TJ Warren does not get me insanely excited. Ooh, I think we just got our first rookie. Our rookie auto. I didn't see who it was yet. I'm gonna let you guys see it first. Trey Murphy for the Pelicans. I'll be honest, I might be a casual, but I don't think that's a crazy pull. I will take an auto though. Trey Murphy, not bad boys. Widescreen, this is interesting. I have not seen this. A widescreen Zion Williamson. Oh my God, Wait, I, I didn't even know they had this in there. That's kind of sick. Dude, I just got a James Worthy. And there's actually a Patrick Ewing back there. Uh, and I guarantee Ewing has a really good card, so. Ooh, see like this, bro, like, just a silver Giannis, but I could get endgame Giannis if I wanted to. Prism Moses Moody, they're actually kind of crispy. A Prism Malik Beasley as well. I actually love this. A Prism Fred Van Vliet. Prism Tim Duncan. I like Invincible Tim Duncan a lot, actually. <gasps> oh, this goes so hard. Prism Lori Markinen. That goes hard. I like that. Jason Tatum. Damian Lillard. Bad timing for this one. <coughs> yeah, I don't need that. Two final packs, boys. I don't know. I mean, I don't know my NBA cards, but I don't think this has been too cracked of an opening. Mo Bamba, Malik Beasley, Hassan Whiteside, 32 of 99, Patrick Williams. I got all the Trey Murphys today. Final pack right here. It starts out with John Wall. John Wall, Jaden McDaniels, Julius Randle, Kevin Love. Does Kevin Love have an invincible? Ooh, nasty. Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon? How do you say his last name? Is this guy German? Is it Wagner? He was a beast at Michigan, dude. It's actually a nasty card right there. 76 of 149. No shot, I just got this. No shot, I got this in the last pack! Let's go! All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, it's not the most cracked card pull, but I have wanted Vince Carter for so long. Remember that game last season I had Vince Carter and then I lost him? That could be this game as well, except... I already have LeBron and Mike, so maybe that's not the right pick. Damn it! I have a chance of getting him, though. All right, boys. Hey, that was our Panini Prism opening. Let me know if I got anything crazy. I don't know if I did, but now I got to decide what I want in 2K. Full disclosure, one thing I don't want to do is go down this endgame rabbit hole. I don't want my whole team to be endgames. So even though there's technically endgames that I could get from that pack opening, I think I do know what I want to go with. My decision is Luka Doncic. Thanks to this mindset poll right here, I'm taking Invincible Luka Doncic as my player. Now, the reason I'm taking Invincible Luka Doncic is number one, I was trash with him last time. Whatever Luka I had, I sucked with. I don't even remember what Luka it was, but I sucked with him. 75 Hall of Fame badges. He's insane. And I do want to get better at different play styles. I've been playing this whole game through my power forwards and centers, and it's time to switch it up. And I think a demon like Luka Doncic should do well with that. I would have going with invincible steph curry but the closest one on the auction house right now is four hours away so i just said fuck it i'm going luca and it looks like i'll win this and as we wait for luca to get bought for this squad let's go ahead and get our challenge wheel in right now ah uh, and the challenge wheel as you know has been very clutch we get one pack from the store if we can complete it let's see what we got here each starter needs 10 so, oof. Okay, I, I perfectly grilled this one last time. Let's see if I can do it again. The only issue is I don't have nearly as much firepower this season. When I hit that 69 challenge, I had Yao Ming and Shaq and everybody. I have Endgame Michael Jordan and Invincible Luka. That should be enough, though. That's a lot of studs. And I got Wang Zizi. I don't care if that's not how you say it. I'm not changing how I say it. The New York Milf Hunters are adding Invincible Luka Doncic to the starting lineup. So now it's Invincible Luka, Endgame Jordan, Poverty Labum. That's what he will be called until he is an Endgame. Serge Ibaka, DeAndre Ayton as our starting lineup. Our challenge is to score exactly 69 points in this game. Sorry, I didn't explain that in the challenge reel. Score exactly 69. 
He's got Mike, Pete Maravich, Damar, Shaq. Okay. Honestly, not scared really at all. That Damar is good. I'm not worried. I think we're going to be all right. I mean, if he's really good, we're definitely not. This is a fucking park player. I'm playing another park player. And he's, he's chatting too. He's on the mic. Just guapped out of my face? What the fuck? Oh, he's really on the mic. I can't hear him. He's not, you're not talking to me, are you? How can you hear me? How can you hear me? How are you? How do you hear me? Oh, he's talking to someone else. <laughs> Stupid. He's not talking to me. What part you shoot, Shorty? Bro, play the game. What are you doing? Been well, though. Yeah, I've been well. How about you? What an idiot. That's so fucking weird. He's not talking to me, but it really sounds like he is. What the fuck? No, I'm taking my win. I'm taking my win. I'm going to play someone else. He had three points already. I got scared. All right, boys, we need exactly 69 points to complete the challenge. 10 with LeBron to upgrade to Ruby and a win to keep invincible Luca. He's got, I don't think I'm worried. A lot of those are like free to play cards. Not that like people who pay to play are any better. In fact, usually they're worse, but I don't know. That's kind of a poverty lineup. You can get a lot better point guards than that Isaiah Thomas for dirt cheap. That Isaiah Thomas is ass. So I'm hoping that means he's ass. All right, screen, step back, Luca. Oh, no! Do it! Oh, that would have been so sick for my opening shot with that new Luca. As much as I like being the Jets, I hate these unis. These unis are gross. I hate them. I might switch up the unis. All right, Luca to the rack on LeBron. Drills it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch up my unis. I might go all just vintage Bulls unis. Ooh, good move. Good fading shot. I'm gonna take off with Jordan. Oh, bad pass, maybe? What? What? Dude, that was supposed to not go in, I don't think. Oh, great defense. Great on-ball defense. Uh, let's not force any points. Let's just score. I'm not going to worry about forcing anything to LeBron right now. Ooh, great shot, Jordan. Adio! Get it out of here! Serge Ibaka! LeBron! Sapphire! Ooh. He's not going to have a crazy good three-pointer. He'll probably have a decent one, a lot better than Giannis. But that's probably a stupid shot with the Sapphire LeBron. I'm... <laughs> oh, could have had an and one. Damn. All right, Luca already playing quite well. Haven't done much with Jordan yet. Great defense. That ain't going shit. Great work, great work. All right, get it up to Jordan. Pump fake. Get him jumping. Jordan to the rock! 10 to 6. Let's go. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Great defense. Out to Jordan. Pump fade. Got him jumping. Wait. Jordan's post fade's got to be just gross, right? Ooh. That was all right. That was all right. Oh, I did not see that guy down there. He what just blended in. Not because he's... Because of his jersey color, though, guys. I think Luca can just body Isaiah Thomas. He can. Holy shit. I like that matchup a lot. Milf Hunter shooting a good percentage. Having a good game so far. He's coming in on Wang. It's the, it's the poverty of Yao Ming on the real Yao Ming. And real Yao Ming won. All right. All right, poverty Yao Ming. Give him what's up. Don't even take it. Yup. Poverty Yao Ming. <laughs> Wang Zizi. Oh, shit. I did not mean to come that far out. He is going to take advantage of that every time, isn't he? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, God. He was in my face. Nice yam. Ooh, Yao's a beast, bro. He just stole the inbounds, but it gets stolen right back by Jordan. Up to, I don't know who that was, but I think Jordan will score this. Let's go, Jordan. I am actually above pace for 69 right now, and it's a close game. So it's actually not good. Because if I get to 69 and he's at 68 and I can't score anymore, I'm going to be in trouble. Darius, oh, that's Amethyst Curry. Wait, that's good. We both got some Amethyst on this squad. Love to hear that. Oh, out to LeBron. He's jumping. Damn, this LeBron is tired. Oh, okay, I'll take the free bucket. Aiden's got a good mismatch right there, but I gotta get LeBron involved. Zero points for LeBron right now. It's also got pretty decent. That was just a horrible shot. Great defense, boys. How do we get LeBron involved? Can I screen and roll with him? Oh, yes, yeah, screen and roll with LeBron. Cut, LeBron. Yes, one second. Yes, with no time on the clock, LeBron dunks that. Okay, that's two. Need 10 with him. That was not easy. He's going to get an easy one right there. This game's a little too close for me to be dicking around, but whatever. Little screen here, mid-range. Ooh, Jesus, that is a sapphire. I'm a little too spoiled by these end games, bro. That shot's a lot easier on an end game. Come across with LeBron. Good defense. Come back across. Ooh, okay. 
all the way to the hoop. Oh, shit. LeBron! Sapphire LeBron pulls out the dog package too. I guess I assume most of the cards can do that, but he's making it a lot easier than Giannis made it already. That Giannis was, that Giannis was just not it. See if I can get one more of those exact same buckets. He will not onball me either. Damn, that guy. Not a lot of clock here. Downhill, LeBron. Oh, I gotta take a really tough contested jumper and getting over the back, and now I regret everything. All right, fine. Let's just go get a bucket, shall we? Oh, shit! That's one of my favorite dunks of all time, dude. And a rip. Oh, almost took it from him, too. Would have been too perfect. Damn, and I just got... I got lost. I got lost right there. I need a map. Easy bucket for DeAndre Ayton on the pick and roll. Make it three. I'm not on pace for 69 anymore. And I'm losing right now. I don't know. Maybe I... Oh, shit. Not a good free throw. Oh, he's not a Dark Matter. Damn it. I'm so spoiled by Dark Matters. Get up. Yes, sir. Down to Ibaka. Damn. Swat it to hell. Put it up with DeAndre. Ooh. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot there. Could have certainly been better. But we saved for last shot. Played a smart down by a point. 39 points here to land exactly on 69 and got to hold him to less than that. Ooh, damn it. I did the slowest step back in the world, bro. And Ibaka just tried to put that back. That was all just piss poor. Oh, good rip. Oh, I thought I'd have that. He just greened that in Ibaka's face. Well, I know Yao's built like that, dude. I know better than anybody. Luka! <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to go for the win right now. How the fuck are you camping the paint? Look at these defensive settings. Transition defense, no threes. In what universe are you camping the paint? Why would you ever do that? Not a good run right there. And I just dropped the fucking ball. But you gotta get it together. That is a horrendous shot. That's always nice. Jordan and one. Good free throw, Jordan. Let's get another good one, Jordan. Easy, easy. Okay, okay. Wow, what a quick ass release. That Jordan's release is disgusting. Damn, hey, one point game. We were just down by six. Now we're bringing it right back. Great work, boys. And now he's got a wide open three pointer once again. I almost gotta like have my starters in at all times. There is Garland fucking misses the dunk. Oh my God, this is piss poor. Another wide open three when I have transition threes on, like no transition threes. Get a two, just get back on the board, 37-44. And this Darius Garland is so not equipped to guard Isaiah Thomas. All right, let's just bring the starters back in and just hope that they can do this. Great defense, of course. You gotta fucking love that. Perfect defense, offensive board, wide open three. Bro, I literally subbed in my starters. What are we doing? DeAndre Ayton, 46% contested, great shot. Don't know how I didn't pick that. Ooh, but I'll pick that, ball don't lie. He's gonna jump, yo, what a move! <laughs> Let's go! DeAndre Ayton just 1v1 him, dude. That's a horrible shot. Great defense. He's jumping. He's still jumping. He's still jumping. Five seconds on this clock. Let's get a great shot. I'm going up with Jordan. Always my best shot, baby. We're making this a real game right now. Seven seconds on the clock. Step back, Curry, horrible shot. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, we can still do this. We can still win this game. Oh, he jumped. Great shot. 1.4! Come on, boys! 49 to 51! What a run right there! God, we're so piss poor without the starters in, though. We are piss poor. So if I were to score 20 points here, I would complete the challenge in this quarter. It's not super realistic, but... Oh, he's jumping early! Luca Drills it! 52! 51! We just took the lead! How long has it been since I've had a lead? Takes a mini with Yao! Good shot! His Yao is taking over, too! Surge, great shot, great layup. One point lead once again, Surge! Oh, I thought I yoinked that. I'm staying off ball. He is really trying to cook, but they are not budging. Get that out of there! Ibaka is nasty, Amethyst Ibaka. I mean, I know he's a defensive player IRL. Jordan, all the way, dish it out. I don't know who this is, that's why I didn't take it. And I, it appears that I made a very good decision. You just missed that wide open midi? Dude, this guy is fucking horrible. He just had a wide open mid range and he missed it. I'm getting a three. I'm getting a three with Luca. I don't care how stupid of a shot that is. I'm throwing it. Come on! 
on. Let's go. Four point lead. Luca, you savage. Good D. Redemption. Good drop step, LeBron. Perfect drop step. That's six. That's six for LeBron. 59 points for the team. He overcommitted to the paint. Oh no, I need the starter still in. He's jumpy up here, dude. He's so jumpy. Oh, what a move, Luca! Have it! Have it! This Luca, dude, I'm redeeming myself with Luca so hard right now. Okay. Three second offensive three. Didn't he? Was that offensive or offensive five? He was just camping down there. He's just camping on LeBron over there. I'm gonna get a good screen here. Luca, I need a good one out of you. Luca, turn around! Green! With no time on that clock! What a shot, Luca! Oh no, that's pretty open. Hey! And we got the board! Let's go! Out to LeBron. Good pump. To the rack! On his head! No! LeBron is tired. I can't shoot that again. Into LeBron. Let's go up. Let's go up, LeBron. Shot clock violation. Shit, he made it. Shit, that would have taken me to 66 and eight with LeBron. Good defense, Mike Hand hitting that. Great defense. Up to LeBron. Underneath, yes. Jeez, he is tired. 66 points. I've got eight with LeBron James. Oh no, wide open Curry. Wait, he has a foul. Wait, he has a foul. Let's just get it into LeBron and we're fine. Let's go. Where's LeBron? Oh no, I gotta get it back to LeBron. Okay, go back to LeBron. Shit. LeBron's the inbounder. I keep. Wait, now I miss this. I have to miss this and I have to get the ball to LeBron next time. He greens a three. Now we have to get this to LeBron. And then he fouls and we hit both. We hit both. Follow me. We hit both. We sit on 69. We have 10 points with LeBron. This is Sapphire LeBron though. His free throw is not going to be good. Come on, LeBron. No! Shit! God, that's horrible. That's horrible. Okay, I greened that one. Shit. Wait, this is bad. I got to let him have a three. I got to let him have one. I let him have one. I got to go to LeBron again. I got to get the inbounds and the foul, the foul, the foul, the foul. Oh no, but I can only hit one. I can only hit one of these. And then I have to stop my defense. Holy shit. Holy uh -huh. shit. I knew this was going to happen. He kind of got open. Oh, he was open. He could have had that. He messed that up so bad. Oh, he just ran a perfect play. Now I have to score again. I got to score. Go in, Luca! Wait, 2.9! Great bucket, Luca. But now I got to clamp up again. Throws it into the paint. And he's swatted! It's all over! Let's go! Damn! I couldn't win on 69! But I do walk away with a dub! Holy shit! What a game! That's a season opener, ladies and gentlemen. That is a season opener. Box score, Isaiah Thomas, dude. He went, I was talking shit about that Isaiah Thomas. He went off with him. Granted, I gave him two wide open threes on purpose there at the end to get LeBron points. So maybe I didn't get my challenge, but LeBron James has 10 points. So that's a Ruby LeBron James we get. Luca's fucking insane. Luca is absolutely insane. Game winning bucket, game winning defensive stop, 25 points, four assists, four rebounds, two steals, zero turnovers. Nine for 14, four for six from three. And the only free throw I missed is because I made him miss it. Jordan was amazing too. Six for eight, shot like, shot the lights out. Awesome release. 10 for LeBron, nine for Aiton. Did play really well. Awesome, awesome game. Gotta shoot my opponent, GG, because that was a spectacular game. He said it's his MMG. GG's my guy. I hope you see this video. We keep Luca. We keep Michael Jordan. No pack to open, but we do get Ruby LeBron James instead of Sapphire LeBron James. Cool. So LeBron is now his Halloween card. Is that what that is? I think he actually wasn't that bad. Just as a Sapphire. I did miss a three, but dude, he was slamming out there. He was putting up good contested shots. Uh, I'm not worried about upgrading him in the future. Ibaka was awesome. So that's sick. Amethyst are doing work. Also, I'm sorry, Wang Zizi. I'm as much as I love you and you did redeem yourself. I'm I'm gonna try out Bam as my backup power forward. As my backup center. Ooh, also, Darius Garland. Big liability. He is tiny and he sucks. I want someone different. So I can choose any Amethyst. Amethyst point guards. I want someone with A-plus perimeter defense. That is Isaiah Thomas, but he's even small. Ooh, Dennis Smith Jr. would be kind of fun. Yeah, I'm going I'm going Dennis Smith Jr. right here. So now it's Dennis Smith Jr., Ray Allen, Scottie Pippen, Julius Randle, Bam Adebayo, Luca, Mike, LeBron, Serge, Ape. Good shit, boys. Amazing season. An opener. We moved to 1 0. No years of celibacy for me. Hope you always enjoyed. I know this is a long one, but um, thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!